Hello everyone and thank you so much for stopping by today. My channel is all about helping you look beautiful so you can feel confident every single day. And today I have what I think is a really good video. I've never done one like this. Seven things that are ruining your outfit and how to fix it. So it's not just me telling you this looks bad or that looks bad or don't do this. I'm going to show you what to do instead. So please stick around. The first thing that may be ruining your outfit, and this is something we're gonna spend a little bit of time on because it is the thing I see probably most often that ruins an otherwise great outfit. And that is picking the wrong shoes. And in this example, I am wearing a dress because I do see this probably most often with dresses, but you can kind of apply this to any outfit. So first off, here I am in this lovely floral dress, but look at my feet. What is the first thing that your eye is drawn to? It's those he dark, heavy, clunky heels on my feet. You know, a lot of people make the mistake that black goes with everything or black shoes go with everything and they don't. Even though this dress is navy and you would think a dark shoe may work, this just totally breaks up my vertical line and it just draws your attention to the feet and away from the pretty dress. A better choice would be maybe a strappy black sandal like these. This is better because these don't look so heavy. They're strappy, thin straps, have a nice low heel, so they look dressy enough to wear with the dress but we can still do better. And if you know me by now, you know I'm gonna say a pair of nude shoes is gonna be the best thing to wear to keep your legs looking longer. Here is one attempt at nude shoes. Visually, it's not drawing your eye to your feet, so you're seeing the pretty dress, but the shoes just aren't quite right. They are a little bit casual and the heel is just a little bit short and squatty for the dress. So I don't feel like this shoe is doing the outfit justice, even though the color is much better than the black. So let's try this kind of ruched strap heeled sandal. These are from Dream Pairs and I love them because they're so comfortable. Now this is a lot better. Well, this shoe is definitely dressy enough for the dress, but what would be even better is a pair of strappy nude sandals with a heel. These are also by Dream Pairs and I think this is the perfect shoe for this dress. It elongates the leg, it doesn't take anything away from the dress, and it gives you some height and is appropriate for the level of dressiness of this dress. So I hope that helps you visualize the wrong things to do and how just changing those shoes can really elevate the look. And you can apply this to pants outfits, shorts outfits. I'm not saying that all black shoes are bad, but just keep that in mind. If the goal is to make you look taller, elongate your leg, then a black shoe, especially a heavy black shoe, is not going to do you any favors. Okay, we have the shoes picked out, so let's pretend we're going to a wedding. And what if you're one of those people who has one purse and you buy that purse and you love that purse and you buy a good quality purse and that's what you carry every day until it wears out? Well, this is why that is not a good idea and I'm gonna show you. First, and you may think this looks pretty ridiculous because it does, but I have my Louis Vuitton Neverfull tote bag. And I love this bag. I've had it for years. I've definitely got my money's worth out of it. But obviously, this is the wrong choice to wear with a dress and heels. But would you believe I have seen people do this? People think, oh, this is an expensive bag. It's a designer bag. That means it's fancy. Well, no, it doesn't. Something with a logo or this checkerboard pattern is just too casual to wear with this sort of outfit. So next, we're trying a smaller bag. So I pulled out one of my bags from Portland Leather Goods. This is called the Toaster Bag. And the size is good. However, style of this bag, its strap, 
and just the overall look of it is just a little too casual. So this is a great bag, it's great quality, it's real leather, but it's not the right look for this dress. So next, I try this little bag. This is from Amazon. It's a designer inspired bag. Comes in a ton of colors and this bag is less than $30. It may be less than 25. And speaking of that, I'll have everything that I'm showing in today's video linked down in the description for you. This bag works for a number of reasons. One, the color is great. It kind of matches back to the nude shoes. It's got this quilted detail, which makes it a little bit more dressy looking. And then the strap has the gold chain detail on it and the little tassel, and that dresses up the bag as well. So for this outfit, this bag works perfectly. You can really wear this with a lot of different looks from casual to dressy, and it works with almost anything. So this is a great one. And like I said, it comes in a ton of colors. And now I think we have the perfect outfit, including bag and shoes to wear to that wedding. Okay, next up we have a biggie and that is not wearing the appropriate undergarments. You would think that by the time we reach our age that everyone would know <laughs> what kind of undergarments to wear depending on their outfit, but I see it, it literally every day. And especially this time of the year, one of the main things that I see is women wearing tank tops with their bra straps hanging out. Now here I am in this lovely sweater tank from J. Crew, and I'm wearing a regular bra with it and you can see my straps out on display and you don't have to do that. And I know a lot of you do not like to wear strapless bras, but there's so many other things that you can do to avoid the bra straps showing when you're wearing tank tops. One is very inexpensive. You can get one of those little clips that clips your bra straps together in the back and I will find those and link them. I know they're available on Amazon. But what I prefer to do is I keep a couple of racerback style bras in my lingerie drawer. And so I put on a racerback style bra and now here I am, I don't have to worry about my bra straps showing. Everything is nice and neat. And I will be sure to link some good choices for racerback bras. And I'm not talking about a sports bra. You can get a regular bra that has that racerback style. And I will list some of my favorites down in the description box below. Another thing that is probably the biggest mistake, and people have been talking about it for years, and I don't know <laughs> why we can't figure this out, and that is visible panty lines. I have found that the secret to no visible panty lines is a laser cut panty. My favorites right now are from a brand called Niwe and I've seen a couple YouTubers mention these on their channel. So I tried them out for myself and I love them so much that I went and bought enough to have like for over a week's worth because they are my favorite underwear by far. And this one is called, yes, it looks kind of like a granny panty, but this is called the Barely Zero Panty and it's laser cut. See the legs and the waistband. There is no elastic and it is full coverage in the back. And these come up like right below my belly button and they are very stretchy and they just come in like a one size fits most kind of deal. But I love these and they do not show. They do not creep up at the leg. They don't give you a wedgie and they don't roll down in the front. That is a problem that I've had with, with a lot of the other brands of laser cut panties is that they roll down in the front. These do not. That's why I love them and I bought them in a ton of colors. They have all shades of nude, black, different colors. Love these. But Victoria's Secret also makes some good ones. Again, they have the laser cut edge and the laser cut around the legs. And these don't give me a wedgie either. However, if you don't get the right size in these, they will kind of roll down, especially if you have a little belly. Another way to avoid visible panty lines is the thong. And I don't know whether you like them or not. I used to wear these exclusively 
when I was a little bit younger. Now I tend to wear the seamless ones more often, but I do have a few thongs for whenever I might need them in my drawer. And the, this is a new pair, um, but the, I used to live in these. This is the Hanky Panky brand. And these are the only thongs that I have ever been able to wear. And they are all just this stretch lace. And you see the back, it isn't like butt floss. It's a little bit wider than that. And believe it or not, these are comfortable. So whenever there's an occasion that I think that I need to wear a thong, then this is the way to go. And I'll have all these linked down in the description box. Another mistake that you may be making that will ruin your outfit is not paying attention to grooming. I'm talking about hair, skin, nails, makeup, all of that. If you have on a gorgeous outfit with beautiful accessories, but your hair is a mess and you haven't bothered to put on any makeup or you're wearing sandals and your heels are drying cracked, that is going to just kill an otherwise great outfit. Messy hair or hair pulled up in a scrunchie is fine at home, but otherwise it can ruin a great outfit. So be sure you get your hair trimmed or cut on a regular basis to get those dead ends off and keep it healthy. And make sure you have an up-to-date style, whether that is long hair, short hair, in-between hair, just make sure you've got nice current hairstyle. And invest in a professional color job if you can. I go to the salon every six weeks to get my hair colored. And yes, I am due. <laughs> I'm going in just a couple of days because I'm actually past due. I had to reschedule because of my vacation. And don't forget about your nails. You know, whether you have long or short nails, painted or unpainted, just keep them trimmed and neat and cuticles trimmed and moisturized. And it is sandal season, so more important than ever, get that pedicure. Treat yourself to a pedicure, get your toenails done, get all that dead skin scrubbed off your feet and moisturized, and it, number one, it feels great. And then you will be ready to step out in all your summer sandals confidently. And for your skin, be sure you're investing in a good skincare routine. We don't have any excuses at this age. <laughs> we really should have been doing it all along, but now you really need to invest in some good skincare products to keep your skin looking fresh and some nice natural looking makeup. Always makes you look more polished and put together and will have you looking great in whatever outfit you're wearing. Speaking of skincare, you know, one of the most important things that we can do for the health and glow of our skin is get a good night's sleep. But if you are a side sleeper like me, you know all too well what it's like to wake up in the morning with all those deep sleep wrinkles from having your face smushed on one side or the other and from laying on that pillow. Well, I have found a solution for that. And it is the Omnia Pillow by Sleep and Glow. I received this pillow before vacation, tried it a couple of nights and loved it so much, I had to take it with me. No more sheet wrinkles or puffiness in the morning from sleeping on your side or your stomach on a regular pillow. The patented Sleep and Glow Omnia Pillow has a unique 3D design that helps fight and prevent sleep wrinkles and morning puffiness. Your face is cradled into this ergonomically designed pillow and with these special scooped out sides, your face doesn't even touch the pillow. It's genius. The pillow is made from dense, high quality memory foam that adjusts to your head and neck providing outstanding orthopedic support. The cover is made of a tinsel fabric that is smooth and doesn't tug on your hair or your skin. The Sleeping Glow pillow is designed by orthopedists and this pillow ensures anatomically correct body position while you're sleeping. And I have to say, that it has definitely helped me because I do have a lot of neck and shoulder issues. And after sleeping on this pillow for just a few nights, 
I saw a big difference and that is why I had to take it with us when we went on vacation. Don't throw your money away on expensive creams and Botox or fillers and all that if you're gonna go and sleep on a regular pillow and smoosh your face every night. This pillow can help prolong the effects of all the treatments that you do for your skin. Sleeping Glow offers a 30 night trial money back guarantee. The pillow has a three year warranty and an expected life of five years. So your investment is going to last a long time. If you wanna get all the benefits of sleeping on the Omnia pillow as well, be sure to check out my link down in the description box for the Omnia pillow. Another thing that I see practically on a daily basis that ruins an outfit is wearing the wrong size. Whether it's someone who has tried to melt and pour themselves into a pair of jeans that are too tight, or someone is wearing jeans that are too big, or the dreaded capri pants, and I see this so much, they have the elastic waistband and they are just loose and baggy all over. That is just not a good look. Same for oversized shirts. Now a long shirt can look great if you're wearing it with more slim pants. I'm talking about just wearing ill-fitting clothing. Doesn't matter how nice something is if it's ill-fitting. Think about a man, and you've probably all seen a man <laughs> like this at some point. He has on a nice suit. It may be a very expensive suit, but it's just hanging on him because it doesn't fit him properly and he didn't have it tailored to fit him. The same thing goes for women. If you are in between sizes, have it tailored and don't buy your clothes too tight or too big. So be sure you're wearing clothing that skims the body and is neither too tight or too baggy. Another thing that I think will ruin an outfit or ruin your look, I guess I should say, is not dressing for the occasion or the venue. And what I'm talking about there is not wearing the appropriate thing for the time of day or the level of formality of the event. You know, we're in wedding season right now and you may be invited to an afternoon wedding or an outside wedding, or maybe it's a nighttime wedding and it's more formal. Okay, this is a lovely cotton maxi dress. Would be perfect for maybe an afternoon wedding that's outside or some sort of party if it's outside at, you know, the botanical garden or something like that. This would be perfect, but if you're attending a wedding and it's in a church and then the, the reception is at a hotel ballroom or a country club, then you wouldn't want to wear this dress and vice versa. You don't want to wear a formal dress during the daytime. So skip the sequins, skip the chiffon or anything else that's too fancy for daytime. Save that for your evening functions. Here's a dress that I actually wore to my stepdaughter's wedding. And her wedding was in the evening and then the reception was at the ballroom of a nice hotel here in town. I didn't want to wear anything floor length because that's what the mother of the bride and groom did and I was the stepmother. So I wanted to look nice but not over the top. So I picked this dress and it is still available even though I wore this a few years ago. It's still available. It comes in a ton of colors. The nice thing about this dress, it's not too low cut in front or back. You can wear a regular bra with it. It's very forgiving the way it's cut here in the front with this little wrap around the front that has this little brooch on the side. It's really nice to smooth out that tummy area because it's got the ruching, which you know is great for concealing a tummy. And since this dress had the little rhinestone brooch on it there at the waist, I did go a little bit more blingy with the shoes and I got some metallic shoes to kind of tie into that. And then this is where you definitely need a dressy clutch or evening bag when you're wearing something like this. So this one that I have from Amazon would be perfect. You just need something small to put your essentials in. So if you're dressing like this for something at night, be sure that you've got the right kind of bag and shoes for it. 
Thanks again to Sleep and Glow for sponsoring today's video. And I encourage y'all to click that link down in the description box to shop their site. I hope this video has been helpful to you guys. Leave me a comment. Let me know what else you think ruins a good outfit down in the comments. And until I see you in my next video, have a stylish day. Bye-bye.